Well, it's finally here, but what's going to be in it? Rumours came out yesterday that we'll get no Andrew or Tobey Maguire, so what's going to be in this trailer? My name's Al, as always, this is the Geek In Review, and this is going to be my reaction to the new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer. Now, I'm not going to turn the webcam on for this, because it's about half past five in the morning here, so you're just going to have to put up with my voice. And if we aren't getting two Spider-Men, then I think what we're probably going to be getting is a lot of focus on the villains in this trailer. Unless we get Kirsten Dunn show up, which I hope for, but I don't think that's going to happen. There was rumours that there was two versions of the trailer, one focusing on the Spider-Men and one on the villains. And the rumour is that they're going to go with the villains, so I might be a little bit disappointed, but I'm just going to turn the trailer on and take a look. So if you've not seen it already and you want to sync up, this is your chance. Okay, okay, oh he's got the Iron Man arms. Electro, Electro straight away there. Peter in the rain, you always have a, need a rain shot on Spider-Man. Looks like the end of Far From Home. Yeah, it's just picking up from where Far From Home is, but we're getting quite a lot. That stuff in the subway is cool. We've never really seen his Spider-Man in the subway, have we, Tom Holland? I don't think so. Doctor Strange. Again, they're just showing us some stuff we've already seen. Yep, oh, here we go. There's a Green Goblin. Or he's green. Oh, no, there is a Green Goblin. Electro, Electro. More Doc Ock. Brilliant, brilliant. Man, they're really going at it on this bridge. Oh, okay, so he doesn't real. He realises it's not his Peter Parker. Excellent. And he's in the cell, right? That okay, so that spoiler's true about them being in the cells. That's going to be very interesting then. Most of the spoilers are getting confirmed because there's Captain America in the stick. Yeah, a lot of the spoilers are getting confirmed here. This is crazy. All the spoilers are mostly right. But is this going to be the evil Doctor Strange, or is this just going to be the normal one? Oh man. Sandman. Oh. Was it Sandman fighting Electro? Not a lot of the Green Goblin in this. Saying that there's one of these grenades going off. Some Goblin fire. Right, so that's another spoiler confirmed then. So one of the spoilers was that all these guys died at Spider-Man's hands and remember it. Right. And he's getting the Iron Man Doc Ock claw. Man, that's a lot of Electro. And if you look at that scaffold, it's always the same ones that the three Spider-Man picks were on from the John Campion one. So that's another leak confirmed. So I don't think Toby and Andrew are going to show up till the end of battle on the Statue of Liberty. And it's going to be like an end game kind of situation. I think that's what's going to happen, definitely. Yeah, look, because look at all those villains. There's a reptile there. Or the lizard, I should say. And there's a Captain America. Yeah. Oh my God! They're doing the Gwen Stacy. They're doing the Gwen Stacy death for MJ. Oh, right. So they're going to kill her. They're going to kill her. Because I said that as well. That Peter Parker has Tom Holland's. Peter Parker hasn't had a loss, but. Oh, there's still more. Oh, okay. This is going to be good. Come on. Oh, yeah. It's going to be an end game ending. It's going to be an end game ending, no doubt. Well, man, they packed a lot into that and showed us a lot. And as I said, that's confirmed a hell, a hell of a lot of spoilers. If you follow those, I'm going to do a video breakdown of that later on. But I didn't think it was going to be that good if we weren't going to get the Spider-Man like Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. But that was absolutely fantastic. So we've seen Doc Ock, Sandman, Electro, Green Goblin, The Lizard... Who else, man? There's got to be more in there. I'm going to need to take a look. They must have CG'd out the other Spider-Man. But I think that was an absolutely fantastic trailer and I'm totally psyched for the film. But is it living up to your hype? Let me know what you think in the comments below or you can follow me on Twitter at The Geeks Reviews.